right, y'all. Welcome back. This is Rose with another cup and another drop. Today, I know I've been MIA for a while, but got some different unique pickups. Um, today, I am featuring non-corporate, non-mass produced, so to speak, sneakers from small brands, small hmm, POC brands people of color um i just i've been on that kick lately and i want to support you know since i buy a lot of kicks and since i'm making nike richer than they already are so might as well you know if i'm gonna buy buy quality for someone else so uh the first thing i'm going to show is because i'm a big supporter of the women's basketball league i don't know i saw a link on twitter and uh, the shorts look good on the um, on the Twitter feed, on the picture. But I didn't think they'd be as nice as they are when they arrived. So I ordered these like in October. They didn't arrive until like December, late December. Anyway, these are some WNBA shorts. And they just have all the logos of all the teams, the 12 teams. On the front, you got Seattle, L.A., Minnesota, Connecticut, New York. Then you also have here on the right side of the shorts the actual 25th season with the logo on the side. And then you also have... Oh, I forgot to show Phoenix is also on the, the bottom. And then on the back they have some of the other teams. The Aces, Mystics, and the Fever, Dallas and then Atlanta in the sky. And I just really didn't think these would be nice quality, but they are. Here's the little uh, draw laces with the metal tabs. Nice, nice, nice. If you look at that, see that? Always put it in the wrong camera. All right, and then on the inside of the shorts, you do have this little, I'm not sure what they call that, but it, it's a, uh, mesh material on the inside kind of like that you're not just uh shorts and then you have made designed by design the usa team u.s sports company these are nice quality shorts another feature that i like is the zippers a lot of my shorts don't have pockets with with uh zippers so these are these are cool these are cool if you've seen that across twitter no another thing about it, it they're not iron on they're not iron on at all, and I was worried about that because every time I buy iron shorts with iron ons, as soon as you wash them and dry, dry them, they fade. So, luckily, these are clearly marked. You know, they're they're. I don't even know what you call this or how they get that in that material, but that is that is that is dope. So just look at some of the other logos. Of course, the fever. Anywho. Let's get here what you came here for. Get to what you came here for. Let's put these to the side. And then we're going to also... Oh, you see my new uh, glasses? Got a couple of pair of new glasses also because I just wanted to try something different other than the same old boxes that I get to. These look like old school gazelles. That's why I wanted those. All right. This first pickup just came today. And I was excited that they came... They came pretty quickly. I ordered these last Friday. They released last Friday, and they got here today, Wednesday. All right. Um, found this dude on YouTube. If you know the name Omi, you know who I'm talking about. Omi the Hellcat. Um, I didn't know he was selling shoes until I revisited his channel, and he had a link on his page. And I saw that, oh, okay, he's, he's selling one of my favorite silhouettes, Jordan 1 type. So this is his box, a nice quality box with all the nice graphics on it. Pretty, pretty darn cool. Over here you have Reloaded. Over here you have your Omi and your Flash Insignia. And then you also have... The, the style of the shoe, the size, and then you also have that, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. 
And for some reason, it says they retail for $300. I didn't pay that much for these shoes. I don't know. I didn't pay $300. No. I think I paid $220. Um, nice quality box. Not cheap at all. You see this other box that I got this other brand. The box is kind of whack. Omi also gives you a little shoe bag with his branding on it. Nice little black little strawstring. This almost feels like uh, a microfiber cloth, something you wash your car, you know, or wash your, dry your car off with, or something you clean your glasses with. So anyway, that was a nice little touch. And then the shoes just come packaged in the Omi, Omi branding wrapping paper. Let's go ahead and take the shoes out. Shoes up, and these are called. Let me put this to the side. Ooh, that kind of blocks my light, doesn't it? So anyway, let's put this to the side. These are called the Welch's Grapes. Look at that. Look at the quality of the leather. So if you think you buy for some of these smaller brands and you're not getting quality, think again. Look at that leather. If not the same, better than what you see on your Jordan Retro Ones. And then you see that nice little, you know, that uh, the, the midsole there. It's not your standard white. It's kind of that aged white. I love that. I love that. And then we go over to the top of the shoe. Let's just take one of the shoes here. Oh, let me show the inside first. So there you have the uh, medial side of the shoe. Nice same, same flash there. And then let me put this down here. And then over here you have your Omi branding. And on the inside you just have, you know, a little skeleton with sneakers on, Omi Reloaded, and then the website. So if you see that there, that's pretty cool. And then let's go to the bottom of the shoe. You'll see there, he also has the uh, flash there. I noticed something the other day too, and the little flashes up there instead of the stars, like on the ones. Then you have your Omi branding there. And then here, I thought that was cool. You have your reloaded, your double R's with a bullet in the middle and then reload it. I'm not a violent person, not sure why he uses that, but it is what it is. These are nice. So if you if you can't get any of the retro ones or you rather want you want to try something else, I don't think he's releasing these again. If he is, it's going to be kind of a smash and grab for the people that don't order pre-order. Um, these are freaking amazing. I've always wanted a black and purple pair, and I never can catch Nike's releases. And I just went on his website and boom, got them, and I love them. I don't need that swoosh sign, but I love the, the profile of these shoes and then the leather. Look at that. Again, look at the leather. Nice quality leather here and here. And then you got a hint of purple here on the laces. And they also gave, uh, they come with, oh, I forgot to show the inside of the shoes. They come with purple laces, which is hot, hot, hot. And then they also put a black laces in the bag. And then on the inside of the shoe, you have the removable insole. And again, it's kind of a continuation of the box. You know, you have Omi there, George Washington C Notes, Liberty Bell, and then just, yeah. So anyway, these are fire. These are fire. So if you, if you, uh, just get tired of buying from the big brands that are already wealthy and then you know have to fight with the robots try other brands out there definitely try other brands i've been doing that all in 2020 and this one just finally came and again i ordered this last friday and it showed up immediately shipping is shipping was a lot though i have to that's i end up paying with shipping a total of the shipping was 30 dollars. not sure why maybe the, the heaviness of the box but they're worth it. I mean, if you're buying retail for that Nike stuff, I mean, not retail, but uh, if you're buying resale on those Nike shoes, you're going to pay more than that. 
you're definitely going to pay more than that. But I absolutely love these. I love the quality of the box. Um, Nike has decent boxes. But if you buy like a mid-range shoe, the boxes are top-notch. Um, this other shoe, the shoe is fire, but the box is trash. I'm not even going to lie. I ain't even going to pub him like that. But this is my third purchase from Saya. And I really wanted this colorway. That's why I went ahead and purchased this. Um, again, just the... Let me just show you the difference. The box. Look at the box here. I mean, I like the way it opens and all that. This is just some... Like a record sheet cardboard box. Like something you'd see in a, a warehouse somewhere. Just not a good quality box. At all. At all. Um, you have your little side branding there. Let me just show you. I, I'm going through this quick. Side branding there. Then over here, these are called the... Psy Collective D1 Wide Lows, Disunion Lows, and these are similar to the Nike Union Unions that came out a couple of years ago. Um, I ordered these. <laughs> I ordered these in June of last year, mind you. June 2021. I just received these. In January this month, I, I, I received these probably two weeks ago. So let me show you around these shoes. Again, the Disunion D1Y Lows, nice quality. Don't get me wrong, same quality. I mean, absolute ridiculous quality. This leather leather is above uh, above any of that I've seen on retro ones. This leather is crazy. This reminds me of the leather leather that I see on some of the Italian sneakers that I buy. But anyway, that's the Vulture logo. Alright, you got your yellow eyelets. Black, the blue suede on the front of the shoe. The red on the heel. And then you have the stitched leather on the top of the heel. Then you have a leather, nice quality leather tab. I was hoping you'd he'd have like Saya somewhere on the shoe. Um, somewhere on the top where we could see it or even Saya here, but I don't know why they didn't put like yellow stitch or even red here You see how it's laced. You have two different laces in here. You have your white and Your blue you have your blue Saya vulture with the yellow eyelet there and you have the black Saya vulture with the red eye uh, at the bottom of the shoe similar to the Omis, you know, this is a very, very popular silhouette, so it's easy to duplicate these shoes. Um, you have the Saya logo there in the forefront of the shoe. You also have, which I thought is kind of cute, dollar signs where the stars are, usually are on the retro ones. And then you have the area code from Brooklyn to the Bay, and then you have the uh, Oakland Bay Bridge the Oakland Bridge, and then the area code there. And then you also have the Saya logo, the vulture in the middle, of course, with continuation of the dollar signs, and then Saya, and then more dollar signs. Um, these shoes are absolutely amazing. On um, the inside of the shoe, it doesn't pull out. You just see have Saya here, but this is even a different type of leather even on the inside of this shoe. It's not even, it reminds me of that pig leather that you'll see in Italian shoes. That's exactly what it reminds me of. You have a little, see, if you look at it here, it has a little um, a, additional cushioning there on the inside. So there's a layer here, then you have the outside layer of the shoe. These bad boys are fire. I've been waiting for this colorway for a long time. And these also, I think these were $220 plus tax. I don't even remember the tax since it's been so long ago. But I've been waiting to get these. I've been waiting. And I, I actually believe these are better than the uh, Nike Union ones. These are fire. But this is a very, very popular silhouette. I've been buying a lot of low tops because I prefer low tops now. They didn't have the Welch's Great in low tops. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm getting ready to buy. Get ready to finish this video off. But I wanted to also put these shoes side by side. 
and just say, hey, guys, if you're tired of the robots or if you just want to try a new brand, look up Saya and look up Omi the Hellcat Reloaded.com. He's a fire. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> So get your hands on sign until the next cop, until the next drop. Peace, y'all.